So after you've permuted the corners and the edges, you should have your entire thing solved. Now you may have a situation where the center pieces aren't matched up correctly. And you're going to have one of two scenarios. You're going to have either two centers that are misoriented by 90 degrees, or you're going to have one center that's misoriented by 180 degrees. So the first thing first is let's go ahead and do this 90 degree one. To solve the 90 degree one, all you have to do is put one of the misaligned centers on the top and the other one on the left. Look towards the left one and see which way the piece needs to be turned. Now this one, for example, I know that this piece kind of needs to be turned upwards like that. So when I get it over here later, I'm going to make sure that I turn it upwards. Now I'm going to write the algorithm down below or in the sidebar, depending on where you're viewing this video. And if you're not good at algorithms, make sure you watch carefully um, how I'm moving the pieces rather than just reading the algorithms. So again, I'm going to make sure that this one is rotated upwards. So just remember that. So here we go. I'm going to do the algorithm now. And again, I needed to rotate this one upwards. So I'm going to rotate it upwards. And now I'm done. All I have to do is fix this last part. And bam, I'm finished. Yay! The other scenario that you can get is where you have one center that's misoriented by 180 degrees, as I said before. This one's really easy to fix. All you have to do is this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U and do that five times. R, U, R prime, U, that's twice. R, U, R prime, U, that's three times. R, U, R prime, U, four. R, U, R prime, U, five. And it's um, turned around. This algorithm is really easy and it doesn't take very long. It has a lot of hand position changes, but for the most part, it's pretty simple. So at that point, your whole cube should be solved. Okay, your Rubin King cube should be solved by now. I hope that tutorial wasn't too hard to f follow. If you had a little bit of problem with some of the algorithms or scenarios, uh, review your 3x3 before attempting this puzzle and it'll make it a lot easier. Um, as far as the uh, last layer type of things, that's really important that you know either a for look or a to look. I'm going to put the algorithms for the edge cycles, uh, whether it's a clockwise, counterclockwise, Z perm or H perm. I'm going to put all those down below and I'll also include the um, corner cycle for the um, corners. So if you have any questions, feel free to post a comment below and I'll be glad to answer. Um, if you don't really understand the algorithms, again, refresh your 3 by 3 first. And thank you for watching. Check out some of my other videos if you like this one and I'll see you guys next time.